Europe, seven different countries in Europe, and we've got three North Americans, two from the US, one from Canada, and they're completing their education into true rum. I'm very happy to meet with you with an authentic Caribbean rum. This trip is amazing. It's something that I just read on the books. I have uh, that uh, wooden uh, column uh, coffee still uh, in front of me and it was uh, amazing. It's a real, uh, it, it's a dream come true, honestly. We've had the most amazing trip so far. Highlight for me, being at Mount Gay, meeting Alan Smith, cutting sugar cane. It's, you know, getting the real experience. That's what it's all about. It's absolutely fantastic and important. The rum, the stories, how it's made, their approach to how it's made, and I think the biggest part is like the diversity. I like that we visited a small distillery. We really saw the craftsmanship and the passion for the rum and the rum making. I think that's what makes a good rum is that it's also the passion from the people working with it. I love the idea. I love the, the organization of it because. What you see is, is you have so many different styles of rum, so many different styles of distilleries, and, and they should all be, be guarded and respected, you know. It would be sad if they would disappear or, or they wouldn't be getting as much, as, as much respect as they deserve because people put their love in it, you get in touch with the people behind the, uh, the rum, the brand. If you see it, you, you learn so much faster and better. I come back, I know I will be focusing more on the rum cocktails and then giving the, uh, them uh, some extra attention uh, towards the other drinks. When you go to the distill and, and speak with the master distiller and you um, get the smell and all these things, try the rums and see the different ways to make it, but it's amazing, amazing place and I saw so many uh, nice distills, it was a nice trip. <laughs> but it's definitely here in Guyana. What rum do they make? Oh, they make El Dorado rum. I'm looking forward to seeing all the various stills right, that they've collected over the years, uh, especially the uh, the wooden up. coffee still. Oh. This is like going to Mecca right. for uh, for some rum nerds like yeah. myself. It's amazing. There's so much history in such a small area. You've got a still that was made in uh, 1732 that's still being used. I mean. In what other industry can you buy something that has been in almost continuous use for you know nearly 300 years? I mean, what an amazing experience! Wow.